is on. It is December the 7th. December 7th, 2019. And minus the broker at Bay, he remains more descent. First, I'm going to be reading chapter 46 from the Circle 7 card. The beginning of Christianity. The foundation of Christianity began in Rome. The Roman nations founded the first church, of whom crucified Jesus of Nazareth, were seeking to redeem his people from under the Roman yoke and law. Jesus himself was of the true blood of the ancient Canaanites and Moabites and the inhabitants of Africa. Seeking to redeem his people in those days from the pressure of Palestinian nations of Europe, Rome crucified him according to their law. In Europe, had peace for a long time until Muhammad the first came upon the scene and fulfilled the works of Jesus of Nazareth. The holy teaching of Jesus was to the common people to redeem them from under the great pressure of the hands of the unjust, that the rulers and the rich would not oppress the poor. Also that the lion and the lamb may lay down together, and neither will be harmed when morning came. These teachings were not accepted by the rulers, neither by the rich because they love the principles of the Ten Commandments. Through the Ten Commandments, the rulers and, and the rich live, while the poor suffer and die. The Lamb is the poor people, the Lion, the lion is the rulers and the rich, and through love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, all men are one and equal to seek their own destiny and to worship under their own vine of victory. After the principles of the holy and divine laws of our forefathers, all nations of the earth in these modern days are seeking peace, where there is but one true and divine way that the peace that peace may be obtained in these days, and it through, and it is through love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice being taught universally to all nations and all lands. Chapter forty seven Egypt, the capital empire of the Dominion of Africa. The inhabitants of Africa are the descendants of the ancient Canaanites from the land of Canaan. Old Man Cush and his family were the first inhabitants of Africa who came from the land of Canaan. His father Ham and his family were second. Then came the word Ethiopia, which means the demarcation line of the Dominion of Mexico, the first true and divine name of Africa, the dividing of the land between the father and the son. The Dominion of Cush, northeast and southeast Africa, and northwest and southwest was his father's Dominion of Africa. In later years, many of their brethren from Asia and the Holy Lands joined them. The Moabites from the land of Moab, who received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle and inhabit northwest Africa, they were the founders and are the true possessors of the Af true possessors of the present Moroccan Empire, with their Canaanite, Hittite, and Amorite brethren, who sojourned from the land of Canaan, seeking new homes. Their dominion and inhabitation extended from northeast and southwest Africa, across the Great Atlantis, even into the present North, South, and Central America and also Mexico and the Atlantis Islands, before the great earthquake which caused the great Atlantic Ocean. The river Nile was stretched and made by the ancient pharaohs of Egypt in order to trade with the surrounding kingdoms. Also the Niger River was stretched by the great pharaoh of Egypt in those ancient days for trade, and extends eastward from the, from the river Nile, westward across the great Atlantic. It was used for trade and transportation. According to all true and divine records of the human race, there is no Negro, Black, and colored race attached to the human family, because all the inhabitants of Africa were and are the human race, descendants of the ancient Canaanite nation from the Holy Land of Canaan. Where ancient forefathers were, you are today, without doubt or contradiction. There is no one who is able to change man from the descendant nature of his forefathers unless his power extends beyond the great universal creator Allah himself. These holy divine laws offer the prophet, Noble Jirali, the founder of the Uniting of the Moorish Science Temple of America. These laws are to be strictly preserved by the members of the temples of the Moorish Science Temple of America. And they will learn to open their meeting and guide it according to the principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Every subordinate temple, the Grand Major Temple, is, is formed under the covenant of love, truth, peace, freedom, and ju justice. They create their own laws and customs in conjunction with the laws of the Holy Prophet and the Grand Temple. I, the prophet, Noble Jarali, was sent by the Greek God Allah to warn all Asiatics of America to repent from their sinful ways before that great and awful day which is sure to come.
The time has come when every nation must worship under its own vine and fig tree, and every tongue must confess its own. Through sin and disobedience, every nation has suffered slavery due to the fact that they honored not the creed and principles of their forefathers. That is why the nationality of the Moors was taken away from them in 1774, and the word Negro, Black, and Color was given to the Asiatics in America who were Moors descent, because they honored not the principles of their mother and father, and straight after the gods of Europe, of whom they knew nothing. It's wrong. Now it's chapters 46 and 47 of the Circle 7 Prime. Uh, that will be all for this video. I am Elijah Zerro Great Bay, a Hebrew Mars uh, Moors descent. And part two, we'll be reading from the Holy Quran of Mecca.